Hello, my name is Paul Sattler. Succession law deals with the transmission of property assets upon the death of the owner of those property assets. In other words, wills and estates. Now, contrary to what you might have heard, succession law is not dry and procedural. It's in fact very, very relevant and timely in society today. Succession law really tells us a lot about what our society thinks of, for example, the family unit. For example, if you leave property to, quote, my children, does that include um, a child that perhaps your wife or husband doesn't know anything about that was conceived long before you entered that relationship? Does it include adoptive or stepchildren? Does it include children born as a result of genetically donated material such as eggs or sperm? For example, if you're the father of that child but the sperm was donated, is that your child for the purposes of succession law? Succession law is about interactions between family relationships and the disposal of assets upon death. And um, succession law has real direct relevance for us all because unfortunately it's a fact that death is the greatest certainty in life. And if you are legally trained, even if you never think that you'll practice law or practice in this area, uh, it's a useful skill to have. For example, even if you're going to practice in the field of commercial law or criminal law, once you have a client, invariably within their family unit, there will be issues arising about succession. And if you are in a position to deal with them, then that's a further string to your bow that makes you more valuable to your clients and, frankly, greater billings for your firm. Which means that at some stage, if you're legally qualified, people will seek your advice in these areas and it might even be within your own family. The workload in succession is very manageable. It's an it's a intellectually challenging unit and so I would encourage you to consider Law 301, Law of Succession, in your degree.